Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3. You may notice that I'm back. I'm in World 4. And this castle is back. That's because I, with a save state, went from World 3 all the way up to now. So I could show you this castle. And then I will be uh, taking on the airship and starting World 5. Oh, mushroom. Why'd you go that way? Yeah, this castle has a lot of lava and a lot of dry bones. Curiosity got me killed. Wonderful. Maybe I'll get the mushroom this time and I won't die. Be Odds are probably not because I die a lot when I'm recording. Yes, yeah, so god. Stupid donut platforms and their vanishing act. Bleh. Yeah? I am so good at this game. You could tell, right? Not wasting any time. No time to waste. Those platforms fall kind of fast. All right. We're gonna let these now three dry bones go this way. Where I investigate. Secret area. Again, I'm fairly certain I mentioned to all of you in an unshown recording. Or was it shown and I've just forgotten? It might have been the one I've already shown. I've never seen this before. Well, that was... That was something. Oh, dear. Go down this pipe. Come out over here. Do the smart thing. Don't go in the pipe that you can obviously see leading down there. Go in this pipe. These blocks seem fairly obvious, so I don't... I think I need to explain them, but what they do is you jump on them, one of these fancy see-through blocks up here, you jump again, and with the exclamation point, when you jump again, it will change directions. Now. Let's play with invisible coin blocks, guys. And get one-ups in the process. Yeah, enough of that. Now we come here where I get another three one-ups. If I had a Tanuki suit, I would fly up there, but I don't. So instead, I'm just going to leave and come out somewhere that does not look friendly. And over here is Boom Boom. That's one. Oh, Boom Boom's dead. Ah, I cheaped up Boom Boom. GG, boom boom. And that's the end of that episode. And now you actually get to see this castle text as well, even though it's... Well, it's the same castle text as if I'm but a different animal. It's Donkey Kong Jr. Cool. References to other Nintendo games. Airship. Yeah. So I played through the water world again for you people. All two of you. Whoop. Almost jumped into the fire. That would have been painful. And probably killed me. Not immediately though, because I'm Fire Mario. I could take three hits before I die. I'm like a batter. Each time I get hit is a strike. Why am I explaining my jokes? Concentration. I need it. 
Oh, I barely made that. Oh dear. I'm just gonna walk over this way and contemplate getting this leaf, or should I stick with my fire flower? Fire flower, don't respawn so quickly. Stay dead. Punk. Insta respawn. I almost fell. Let the screen scroll some more. And take a running jump. Uh, fire! It's a majestic thing, fire. Okay. Alley-oop. Duck. Yeah, I got hit, but oh well, I made it. And I can get another hit right over here, because this your airship. Mm. That was a voice and a half. This airship has the item block at the back, which I've checked for every airship until I actually found it on this. And then there's this guy. Stop jumping. I'm Mario. I'm supposed to be the jumpy one. And why couldn't I do that the first few times I tried this airship on camera? Granted, if I had done that, then I would have been in Wolf 5. And would have had to have done even more. Oh well. You guys have seen the castle accidentally skipped. And now you saw what animal he was turned into, so, uh. I like to assume I've caught everything up, because I showed you worlds 5 and 6 already. Not worlds 5 and 6, levels 5 and 6. Okay, let's just start this. Level 1 of world 5, it features these enemies. I hate them. It also features chain chomps. They're not threatening as long as you stay out of their range. As soon as you get in into it, though... Well, you're probably going to die a very painful death. Now, I don't know what these things are officially called, but they jump and try to hit you. And go away, you annoying little creature. Looks like some kind of weird, deformed, buzzy beetle. I'm just going to fly. Jumper! I think it's level 2 where we see these uh, deformed buzzy beetle ripoffs in their natural habitat. Yes, it is. Now you see, that pipe interests me. And I want to see what is down that, that pipe. Whoops. Made it. Whatever. I got to see what was in this pipe. Goombas! More Goombas! A pipe. Let's keep exploring. More pipes and question mark box. Oh my goodness! Koopa shell. Why you do this? Do I have an item I can use by any chance? Yeah, let's use the fire flower. I'll burn those Koopas. And Goombas and other assorted enemies. There's a flower. And I fail. Never mind. Looks like we don't get to see. Oh well. We get to go the actual path of this level. Just head down the middle pipe. Go away. Yep. That's what they do. They throw blocks at you. Threatening, ain't it? They pick up what's been... Die! That one just stands there like a dumb... So you can kill it very easily. 
lot of these things are very easy to kill, but they, in a later world and level, I think, there's one level in particular where they play a big role in stopping you from getting to the end. I'll mention what world it is when I get there. If I, I'll, I'll clear world three, and if I have enough time, go for the castle. Sounds like a plan. And then I'll do something. I find out what I think I'll work on Steam. That's been wonking out lately. Oh, level three of World Five. This features the greatest thing ever. And no, it's not that spiny. It features the shoe. The shoe is amazing. It is legendary. Haha! -ha! Shoe powers! You can jump on spiked enemies. You can jump on these things. You can pretty much jump on anything, but you can't walk into them. Like I so foolishly displayed there. Don't worry, I can get another shoe. I just gotta lure him over here. And I have my shoe back. Just like that. Eh. Now the shoe makes this level easy, because normally you could fall down there and get hurt. But sh the shoe, the shoe, it protects you from that kind of stuff. So really, in this level, all you gotta worry about is walking into things and falling down those gaps. Unfortunately, as amazing as this shoe is, I think it's only featured in that world. And as far as I know, it's only in this game? I don't recall. Uh, I'll show you this castle, call an episode, and next episode I'll take on this guy pillar. Or as I like to call it, the giant warp pipe. The giant deadly warp pipe, my mistake. Up there is a shortcut with extra lives and all that fancy jazz. I don't feel like going and get... But I didn't know that was there. I probably actually did know it was there and have just forgotten. There's where you come out if you take that upper pathway and that boo. That boo is in such an awkward location. Oh, you. Oh, I got hit. Fall. Go on. Fall. There we go. And behind door number one, and the only door in the entire castle, is Boom Boom. In a plain room. This Boom Boom is clearly the greatest of Boom Booms. And just like that, that level's finished with. Simple enough, yeah. And now I get a quick bridge. Ooh, card game. Alright, I'll do the card game. Call on an episode. Uh, what's here? Mushroom? 20 coins. Let's see if I can find a mushroom or 20 coin card. Star! One up. Wonderful! Yeah, my items are also different because I haven't used these P wings or my cloud. Because, well, I'm an idiot. You know what? <laughs> it seems like a good idea to go in here. Ooh, Tanuki suit. And now, I'm calling it an episode. Make sure I do this. Alright, see you all next time.